we want to simplify the given radicals. Here we have the square root of 64, the cubit of 64, and the fourth root of 64. A radical is not considered simplified if the number underneath the square root, called the radicand, has nth root factors, where n is the index of the radical. So for the square root of 64, our index is 2, therefore we're looking for perfect square factors of 64. For the cubit of 64, since the index is 3, we're looking for perfect cube factors of 64. And then for the fourth root of 64, we're looking for fourth root factors of 64. So if we start with the square root of 64, since 64 is a perfect square, we can write this as the square root of 8 times 8, showing that 64 is a perfect square. So whenever we're simplifying a square root and we have two equal factors, this will simplify to one of the perfect square factors, so in this case, 8. The square root of 64 is equal to 8 because 8 squared is equal to 64. But I also want to go over a more general way to simplify radicals. Writing out the prime factorization of the radicand can be very helpful when simplifying radicals. So let's go ahead and write out the prime factorization of 64 by making a prime factorization tree. So 64 is equal to 2 times 32, where 2 is prime. 32 can be written as 4 times 8. 4 can be written as 2 times 2, both prime. 8 is equal to 2 times 4, 2 is prime, and 4 is equal to 2 times 2, both prime. So going back to our first example, we could write the square root of 64 as the square root of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors of 2. And again, every time we have two equal factors, we do have a perfect square factor. So here's two twos, here's two twos, and here's two twos. So when we take the square root of this, this will simplify to one factor of two from this group, one factor of two from this group, and one factor of two from this group, and two times two times two is equal to eight, another way of obtaining the square root of 64. Now even though this might not be necessary when simplifying the square root of 64, we may find it very helpful in these next two examples. To simplify the cubit of 64, we're looking for perfect cube factors of 64. And let's use the prime factorization of 64 to do this. We'll write this as the cube root of six factors of two. And because we're looking for perfect cube factors, we'll now circle groups of three equal factors. So here's a perfect cube factor of 64, and here's a perfect cube factor of 64. And now every time we have three equal factors, it will simplify to just one of the factors. So the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, is equal to 2. Again, notice one factor from each group. And then the same thing for the cube root of this group, we would have one factor of 2, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. The reason the cube root of 64 is equal to 4 is because 4 cubed is equal to 64. And now we'll use the same technique to simplify the fourth root of 64. So we'll use the prime factorization of 64, which is 6 factors of 2. But now because we're looking for fourth roots of 64, we will circle groups of 4. Notice how we have some leftovers here. So the fourth root of this group of twos would be equal to two. Then notice how we have some leftovers. So we have the fourth root of two times two, which is equal to four. So the fourth root of 64 is equal to two times the fourth root of four. So hopefully from these examples, you can see how writing out the prime factorization of the radicand can be helpful when simplifying radicals with different indexes. We'll look at some more examples in the next few videos.